Now we go. Yeah, there we go. Good morning and welcome to Mom and Ed. Morning for a gloriously not snowy yet, December the 21st, 2022. I'm Mom and he... Is Ed. Good morning. Good morning and I have coffee. Yay. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> while um, I have the uh, uh, usual, um, yes, um... Heavy duty grenade sized energy drink with me. Well, you know, any port in the storm. But um, let's see, it is currently, what is it here? It's eight degrees here, uh, Fahrenheit. You can do your own math on that one. But hey, it, it's fl flipping cold. Freezing. Yeah. It's, uh, let's see, that would be, <clears throat> it's cold. Absolutely. I suppose I could just change my settings to centigrade and see what that says. Let's see. Oh, good. It won't let me change my settings. How dare it? Notifications. Blah, 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 blah. English. Yes. Great. Okay, it's cold. Just take my word for it. It's cold. I mean, I can do the math if I had a piece of paper or could think, but the coffee hasn't hit yet. Yeah. Mm. It's negative 13. How's that? Yeah, um, that is simple. Uh, subtract uh, 32 from, right. the, um, from the number, from yeah. From Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. And then divide by 1.8. Or we could just plug in the calculator and let it do the work. So it's negative thirteen. <laughs> it's negative thirteen. Yep. So actually, for Chicago, not that cold for this time. Well, maybe for this time of year, but not that cold. It will, however, be a day of. Dog going, can we go out? Can we go out? Can we go out? Okay, let's go out. What the heck? What would you do? Why did you do this to me? You don't love me anymore. And immediate a request to go back in. Um, why? I suppose I should turn this on for myself. There we go. We are on there. Yay. Mics are on. Frost was having some mic problems the other day and didn't realize he was broadcasting without saying anything. Um, Been there. Mm -hmm. Been there, done that. Yeah. Or as uh, the people that I know say, read my lips. <laughs> Let's see. So what have I been doing here? Apparently I have some stuff, but nothing remarkable. Do I have enough room to go collect more stuff? Looks like I do. Other stuff I want to put over there. That looks pretty boring. Alrighty, I am ill-equipped and ready to tackle the day. Uh huh. Kind of the and name of the game for me. This morning, I've uh, I found an absolutely um, embarrassing name for a, a superhero. Yes. The Cider Warrior. The Cider you know? Yeah, Cidre. Why is that more, uh, why is that embarrassing? Um, consider superhero whose superpower is getting drunk by, uh... Oh, got it. I, 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 my son, my son, if you were listening... 
Put your hands over your ears. Yeah, I bought my son a bunch of cider for Christmas. So yeah, my, I can totally get into that kind of superhero. Can't remember if I've wrapped it or if I've just left it in the garage. I think I have to go wrap that. I'm trying to remember to wrap things as I accumulate them. Otherwise, it'll be Christmas morning. Oh, shoot! I've got another present for you. Hang on a sec. Well, what shall we do today, Ed? As far as I see, we had... Uh, uh have been in trouble on Kittermeyer. We recently. had, yes. And we now it's for uh, partisans, where we um, meet one of the most sympathetic uh, Ferrisen ever. <sighs> Patron in Hassan's. Oh, okay. <laughs> the drunk one, Listen. yes. Yeah, I can just see that. I can see her pointing her finger and poking it in your chest. Give me one second. I want to see if I can scrounge up a plasma weapon. I don't have any plasma weapons. How interesting. Uh, can you craft hey, any decent uh, plasma from reputation? That would be Nukara, wouldn't it? Let, let, let me check. It's the, we, we're talking about uh, our L.A. Brock Samson. Yes. We're looking for a plasma weapon. A plasma ground weapon. No. Uh, hold on, stop searching. You like to search. I won't do anything, but I want to search anyway, so then, yeah. Um, this is one of those things um, you will get uh, mailed soon. Christmas is early for Brock this year. Christmas is coming. Speaking of Christmas, I got some bonuses from my uh, bosses, and I was thinking about buying some keys, and then on New Year's Day have a nice long show and open up some boxes of stuff. You got mail. Well, thank you. Ooh. It's fresh from the laboratory. Thank you. Yeah, we have to I made it. I love those. You friendly customer service can help you. Yeah, that is kind of um yeah, uh, it, it feels like a little bit, w when creating this, it feels a bit like weaponizing BB guns. <laughs> I have now put, put it on protected status. Good morning, Ed. It says, morning, Mom and Ed. A joyous yuletide to you all. Yes. Yes, indeed. By the way, that is, one, is a weapon where I really enjoy, uh, definitely enjoy setting both weapon mo uh, wep uh, attack modes to auto fire yeah pew 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 exactly <laughs> awesome auto fire uh mm, on several weapons auto fire interferes a little bit with you activating your kit modules but the uh, the uh the uh, white angle weapons are very out very kit module friendly in that case because everything is a single shot but a good one without uh, breathing you without um, uh, prevent doing shoot, 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 while you can't uh, activate a kit module because weapon is busy no, no <laughs> yeah that is uh, it's uh, uh, it's awesome Price performance ratio, uh, given an extremely high performance, uh, it delivers. Last uh, this stuff, it's my um, de definitely my uh, favorite um, favorite weapons in many cases, and they are they are exactly two lobby weapons with uh, that can. Um, uh, that are on par with it uh, when it comes to uh, damage and uh, and fun quality, where I use just uh, primary modes on auto fire. 
that is the discovery phaser rifle from the lobby and the portable phaser cannon from the lobby. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. If I can interrupt for just one second. Uh, Nico Osukra has just given us a follow. Thank you so much for the follow. We appreciate it. Very kind of you. You are welcome. <laughs> you are very confused watching us doing things. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can see Id sitting over there. Good morning, Id. Id sitting at a table here in Q's Winter Wonderland, hopefully having a nice hot chocolate. Oh, Chris Kindle Mart in um, Carmel, Illinois, uh, Indiana was wonderful. I took Farns there, and then my son and I went there with a friend yesterday. So I have been eating schnitzel and Wurst, and weirdly enough, they had raclette, which is not terribly German, but delicious Swiss food. So, um, yum. And buying a few little, few souvenirs for my Christmas tree. Activating my United Kingdom uh, sub, uh, sub vocabulary. Um, this morning I um, had a little bit of Ruby from yesterday as breakfast. Ruby. 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 Um, UK, uh, UK terms for um, curry dishes. Oh! I'd never heard that term. How interesting. You really should have what the certain American movies like um, I think it's named Hooligans with Elijah Woods as um, main character that gives you um, yeah um, from a Germany probably uh, not utterly inappropriate uh, view of the um, yes uh, these hooligans have a kind of a subculture and uh, okay, it's um, and however it is that uh, um, yeah, um, under Doc Elijah Woods uh, when he came back to the United States, okay, I have been trained in conflict and make myself stand. <coughs> Maybe not the best uh, lesson uh, from a. Uh, civilization point of view but yes uh, he gets um, yeah. uh, simply is I don't care how rich you are now I can beat you up <clears throat> but that is something totally different but I, I, I like that movie for several reasons clearly um, and for now I'm watching an another TV series from from Great Britain very, d d it's one of those awesome BBC series. Um, I'm pretty sure it's BBC. It's uh, Doc Martin. The story oh, yeah. Of, uh, Do I love Doc Martin. Oh, that's so cool with uh, all those so Hello. British characters. And um, they're damn close to life, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, it. I did see that. I I don't think they will, because you can win the uh, Fast and the Furious even without a boost. You just have to be better than the opponents in terms of um, uh, how you run it. Just link to an absolutely unboosted uh, Fast and Furious. Um, okay, Fast and Furious. It's Oh, oh no! Fast and Furious is but uh, the, where you uh, where you run against real players. Oh, that's oh. Um, you're talking about <coughs> the Epo one where you're chasing the Epo. That's the Fast and the Furious. So yeah, but you can win it. I have won it with regular tunes and no boosts. But there is skill involved. Knowing how to clip the corners. Knowing how to use everything to your advantage. Uh, 
I will say it's easier when you've got boosts, but if you don't, there's a way to do it. I haven't run it this year because I don't actually care. I used to do it as my favorite way to get um, marks. Now I just want to do it for the various accolades. Besides, taking out the effectiveness of a boost is kind of like taking out the effectiveness of any proc. <laughs> The whole point here is to figure out how you can do it. Admittedly, the drawback is you're playing against another player. Um, however, um, just completing it three times a day gives you the necessary uh, mm -hmm. the, 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 exactly. the Apple Max. And, um, yeah, um, I think the one thing that's denied you is the Accolade Ice Racer. Which is, nope, that's turning it in 10 times, so you just have to do it. Uh, then I don't remember what the one is for winning it. There is one for winning, just as there is in every other one. And it's not Ice Racer, Snowball Hero, no. I'll have to go look it up. But that just becomes a changing it so that everybody can play fair. Yeah, exactly. That's that's not fun. Let's see, it is Wow, I don't even see it here. Maybe they've dropped that one. If they drop that one, then what's the worry? Everybody can get what they need out of it. You just have to do it. I don't have Nimbus Dance Master? Wow. Okay, we have work to do here. Much as I love doing the race, I'm just too crazy at the moment. I will do it another day, another year, another week. Or not worry about those accolades on these tunes. I do want to finish up my accolades on... The mine, mine, mine for two of my tunes, for sure, this year. And Ginger Buddy for one of my tunes. But I was thinking for Ginger Buddy. Good morning, Lord Sepulchre. Um, for anything like mine, mine, mine and Ginger Buddy, grab your friends and all of you go together and everybody protect each other. So if somebody needs um, the red boxes, everybody else you know gives covering fire so they can go pick up the red boxes. And then you alternate who does it. You take turns. You just... You know, same thing for doing ginger buddies and ginger friends. You work together as a team. It, it, it that is a tough one because you actually have to get a total of ninety nine boxes, but everybody else wants the ninety nine boxes too. I think that was mine, mine, mine. Actually, means. Yep, exactly. It's it's the greedy. It's mine, mine, mine. Yeah, and you call me criminal. <laughs> You're not, we're not criminal. We're just selfish. Yeah, Lord Sepulchre, I'm still on cup number one, and it's almost empty. Mm. So game plan for today is uh, get myself awake in a few minutes, get the payroll finished, because hopefully it's done, and then hit the grocery store and get everything I need for the weekend, just in case. Ooh. It has a, provided a mom hydration. Mom will finish up her coffee for her mom hydration and then go get some more in a little bit. Ah, thank you, Id. Unfortunately, the roast has to wait until Saturday, which will be interesting. Because by Saturday, if we have eight inches of snow on the ground, we're not going any place, roast or not. Shall we go play Partisans? 
Dr. Girlfriend? I'm ready for Partisans Indeed, I just had my morning exercise, so I'm ready to do... I did notice that. Let's see, where did it go? I picked it up. There it is. I am transwarping to Partisan Land. Partisan. Yes. Lord Sepulcher says, Oh, Mom, I did the Lobby buyout option on the Tribble, and the ship is a beast with all the consoles. I have absolutely no doubts. I'm looking forward to it, but I won't have mine until Christmas Day or the day after, depending on which you count. Are you ready to begin, Ed? Uh... I can wait a minute. Oh, yes, okay. Hey, Joshua just reached Endeavor 341. Congratulations. That is an awesome Ready achievement. To... Ready to hit the button. Hitting the button. Let's see. There we go. Mm, it's a bar brawl. Um, you know what? I uh, think I will pick Dr. Decoy with me to there you go. today. See, me and Dr. Decoy. Perfect. Confuse the patrons. It says, I made a standing roast and everything for dinner last Christmas. My father-in-law hated it. I'm never cooking for that moron again. Yeah, I don't blame you. Good morning, GSQ. Yeah, my uh, son and Farns are both planning to drive up from Indianapolis, so 200 miles on Christmas Eve so we can have standing rib roast together. And knowing that the weather's coming, I dropped off presents for them last night before I left, so just in case they've got something to open on Christmas morning. It goes fine for me. Uh, Ed, how's your morning? GSQ wants to know. Oh, I... um. I, I I just had a relaxed start here. That's the turning in uh, the the goodies for for the winter ship. Mostly, uh, yeah, um, it's like a little bit mowing the lawn, except that I have no lawn. <laughs> well, let's go talk to this nice guy up here, and then we will go chat with bar patrons. Because that's one of the highlights of this episode. Welcome to Shangdu, an entertainment experience unlike any other. Brought to you by Madrin Enterprises. <laughs> Would you like to hear I love his intonation. Welcome to Shangdu, an entertainment yeah, experience. A particularly fearsome looking Klingon woman arrive earlier. She wasn't interested in the drink specials either. This is normally where I'd expect a little compensation for letting you cut to the head of the line. But uh, I can see you're not in the mood for a shakedown, so please go on in and enjoy your Shangdu ex- I'm sorry, but those are such good lines. Their dialogue has gotten so good lately. Uh-huh. I see a Ferocin. Far two great moments. <laughs> Let's see who else we got here. Help you with something stranger. As a matter of fact, I oh no, that's too easy. Might be in a mood. Tread lightly, you know. 
Let's see, there's got to be more patrons here we can talk to. Patrons! Who wants to give us some great dialogue? Did we talk to everybody already? Uh, I guess we have to go find a death pa. Yeah, you uh, you, you, you got this. Um, is I would say um, weak excuse for a Star Wars Emperor. And, um... <laughs> Before we go on, Lord Sepulchre says, "Hey, Mom, on my one tune, which is my Mirror Universe tune, she has the Terran Lexington class, and I've got it set up with cloaking device, quad phaser cannons, and the in-game explanation is she was oh." She was given the Lexington prototype ship and brought it to the Prime Universe to look for her sister. So we have got backstory going on here, apparently. Good morning, Adipa. They are at last. You get a little distracted by the local talent on the way here. <laughs> this place isn't as well. Your reputation precedes you. I have to say, I've never done business with a hero before. Couldn't agree with you more. The surly, well-armed Orion next to me is Kenya, and the esteemed daughter of Earth there is Wilkins, our information specialist. Hear that, Kenya? <laughs> Hold us, lady. I like him already. I'll bet she does. I'm a handy gal to have around. Especially if you're looking to acquire some very secure data from some very cranky folks in a certain empire we all know and love. <laughs> I got it. You didn't think so much, did you? With both hands and my feet if I need them. <laughs> Relax. Picking up a lot of... Alright, let's go shoot things. And good morning, Mr. Dave. And the Ragnarok's an excellent name. We got incoming! Pew, pew, pew time. Oops, let's put the gun on that we just got. Here we go. Ah, flaily bubbles to the rescue. So much for needing ground damage. That was a quick 20,000 plasma damage. Thank you, Ed. Don't yeah, know why I have to shoot a bar patron, but I'll go shoot a bar patron. Works for me. <laughs> really? Even the dancers are not oh, yeah. getting that. <laughs> I love the dancers in this one. Almost naked, and they've got weapons. Big weapons. Yeah, uh, inflatable assault cannon. <laughs> Oh, Brock is a happy boy. Timpoth must be desperate if he's sending mercenaries after us. That Ferengi's got this place locked down tight. Only way we're getting out of here fast is by getting my bike that coach field down. down. I got a splinter in my hacking finger. Matter of fact, I do. The little darling's hiding in the arena. I do the hacking here. Okay, you do the hacking. And it says, the Klingon way of taking a tequila shot. Snort the salt, drink the entire bottle in a single pull, and squirt the lime in your eye. Yep, huh. yep that sounds very Klingon. Um, 
well, actually, there are variations where it just um, get the and, uh, the, get the li uh, get a whole lime and chew it, <laughs> and do not remove the peel because of their most vitamins in. And one down. I'll come over there and help you. You kept them all preoccupied over here, so we got through them quick. Oh, are you doing any ground damage? Should I not kill things? Um, I did a reroll for ground damage. I did not like. Um, ah. it, well, um, it's uh kind of uh, shooting pesky terrans this uh, day. Oh, we can do pesky terrans. I've just started... <clears throat> On, uh, in, in space. Oh, that kind of is pesky terrans. I've started doing Operation Wolf as a solo mission for pesky terrans. Put a dent in those. Also good for uh, shields and healing. For some reason, I'm not able to deactivate this. Yeah, I'm probably because there's a giant arachnid sitting on top of my head. Oh, because that one's already done, Ed. I did that one first. You kept him busy, so I thought, well, I'll just do that. But this one's being very difficult. Alright, that one's done. It says, bite the lime like Prot does the banana in k pax <laughs> I want that for my... I want that! I want him! That's what they should have given us as our prize here, is our very own squamous. Poor Mr. Squamous. He's just sleeping, though. Nothing bad happened to him. Yeah, uh, just a little bit. Uh, some repair, something like. And, uh, we wouldn't kill him. He's too cute. Okay, for some reasons, it's now going to space. <coughs> yeah, okay. Because well, reasons. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good morning, Cl uh, Cliff. I didn't even see you there. <coughs> Cliff the Sulfware AI says, Good morning. Yeah, that is one of my favorite bar fights. Sure, there's a black market for uh, loading screen numbers. The crew of the Cold Star. What can I say? This caper's gonna be a real peach. Hell, I'd have signed up just for the bragging rights. Him, I think we're going to warp. <laughs> and good morning, right back at you, though. Isn't it a good afternoon for you at the moment? Mom, that changes. We're going. We're off someplace. We're off on the road to Morocco. Well, just as a heads up, I expect I will be on every day except for Christmas morning. Because I will have, in theory, people in the house on Christmas morning. 
in theory. Oh, another Lucara. <sighs> yes, but aren't we friends with her now? Yes. We're friends with her now. Not that there's going to be anything left by the time I finally get there. See? Oh, All um... Done. I blame it for Triana. <laughs> well, she's young and enthusiastic. Can't really blame her for that. Know what? Dr. Decoy again. Okay. Cliff, the same to you and your family. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. Or you and your friends. I have enough acquaintances who are no longer with family, but... I've got good friends who are going to spend the holidays with, which is kind of cool. Nope, not this way. This way? This way. No, oh, that's the old Interceptor Cliff. That's last year. Christmas Day, I should have the new one. Kind of oblivious, aren't they? Another glass door unlocked. You're welcome. <laughs> There's our console. Back there in the corner. Ah, this one, yes. All right, Wilkins, you do your magic. We get to shoot stuff. Yay! <coughs> it's shooty time. Cliff says, she, meaning Wilkins, sounds like she's about to break out in a Dolly Parton song. Ed, I presume you know who Dolly Parton is? Uh, 
I have the strong feeling I somehow should. Dolly Parton is a country western singer. Uh, she's been around for at least 40 years, probably getting into the range of 50 years. Um, very nice person. And uh, she has a very distinctive southern voice, and she's also had a fair amount of plastic surgery to enhance her figure, which she admits to, and she once said, you know, I can't stand too close to a fire or I'll melt. But uh, she has that very classic southern voice. <clears throat> Ooh, stuff. Do you want the stuff, Ed? I never say no to stuff. I'll let you get stuff this time. Oh, it's an armor I can sell. Excellent. Ah. Oh. Here we go again. Let folks. me guess. Another routine. Yep. Because we always do these. And through the magic of Star Trek Online, everything that we do in terms of battles tends to be ones, threes, and fives. We don't do twos and fours. Go figure. Uh, back to Dolly Parton for a moment. She was in a movie with Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda called uh, 9 to 5. Actually, she's been in a couple movies. She's a decent enough actress, amazingly. I think she's written cookbooks. Orville sci-fi series did a great parody where Dolly Parton appears as a hologram. I have got to get my Hulu subscription so I can watch the Orville. Since there is a not Star Trek convention that was just announced yesterday in Philadelphia that will have a lot of Star Trek people attending. We'll be talking about that. Um, we're talking about going maybe just as people so we can enjoy it, but Maybe if it's in the budget, we'll go and have a booth or a table there. Oops, 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 oops. Five, let's do that. There we go. That was helpful. And Cliff is beginning his version of uh, 9 to 5, a la the Orville. Ah, that's why that's a little less effective. This way. Yeah, it ain't all bad. Okay, back out this way. Yeah. Well, the arrow's pointing the other. Oh, hold this way then. Okay. Don't give me two green lights. Yep. This way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, we gotta shoot people first. Oh, no Darn it. Fire and opponents. Okay. Hold on, I have to go sit down in the captain's chair. Or in the uh, emperor's chair. Emperor Brock. I feel very Conan y. Okay, now I can go shoot things. Back to work here. Okay, you had uh, you you had your personal moment of uh, okay. Need an of hands here. 
I was aware that Cork was on Buffy, but not that I've ever seen Buffy. All right, that's done. Okay, and now it's outdoors again. Back to work. Yeah, slow clap. And so your treason, your dishonor grows. I should thank you. The evidence you've collected will help me keep Jumpak in line. After I take it from your corpses, of course. <laughs> ah, another martial artist. Yes, yes. You like my pet? Oh, you baby. Okay. Oh, you baby. Uh, oh, you're you're such a baby puppy. Harry attack or double Harry no what was that but my eyes old man training togs for battle has been a family special for centuries according to legend my ancestors could fire lightning from their eyes they take the first wild togs primitive superstitious nonsense ah but in battle such nonsense can be most as you are about to learn. Okay, okay. You dishonor your house and your people. I will drag you to the deepest pit in Grefford and leave you to rot. You will do little more than fill the belly of my beast, Matriarch. You will never live to see the day where I am the Chancellor. Yes, Don't of course you won't be Chancellor, am I? Ah. Better inspect your premonitions closely, dear. <clears throat> well, at least he speaks the truth, just... <laughs> He's not aware of it. Did you kill them all? There we go. I feel bad shooting the Targi. He's so cute. Okay, one Targi done. Have we got our ninja done yet? There he is. Uh, yeah, and the flaily bubble for the martial artist. <laughs> oh, I like this. Maybe I can't kill you, but I will insult you. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. Sounds like a battle ahead. Yes, yes. Space battle time. And number polishing time here. Yes, indeed. Um. Embark at 
well check your this pathetic crusade of yours end here and now, fool. Ah, jump on here. Save me the trouble of hunting him down. Okay, the Kristak's down to nothing. Let's get some other guys. We need more ships to blow up? Maybe that kind of assistance? Kind of, yes. We're blowing these up too fast. We're blowing them up too fast and there's so much debris in the field that we can't see what we're going to shoot next. That's the assistance, so we need a vacuum cleaner apparently. Yes, clean the vacuum. Somehow we got a whole bunch of Orions here to assist us, but okay, whatever. It's Christmas time all over with all the pretty lights. on me. The Christox still at zero percent. Empire has lost its way. Hell 
Set a course for home. Our house must secure its own path forward. Alone. Oh no! Well, that backfired spectacularly. Uh. Cowards! Traitors all! The great houses have lost their honor! It does not matter. The Empire has no need of a high council. All it needs is an emperor. Poor Jaula. The battle was won, but the alliance of the great houses, my brother's greatest work, is lost. It's plundering time. Yep. Think that's everything. Let's see. So it says on another subject, Ernie, the person that Dolores Van Carter. Uh, sees getting killed for being a snitch in the sister act is played by none other than rom actor Max Grodenchik. And we love Max. In a flashback, young Dolores is played by Carmen Jones, Isis Carmen Jones, who played the de-aged version of Guinan in TNG Season 4, Episode 26, Redemption. Huh. That's interesting. Good morning, Wolfie. Oh, excuse me. Season 6, Episode 7, Rascals. That makes more, more sense. I was trying to figure out how we had a de-aged Guinan in that episode, but, yep, yeah, I haven't seen it in a while. Jim Bok, in his first act as Emperor, has dismissed the Council. The alliance of the Great Houses... Oh, that battle got me to, into a serious handbag condition. <laughs> yeah. Too much loot? Um, yep. Yeah, I totally get that. Let's see, Wolfie says, how's the mom in the ed? I, I'm good. I'm going to be better in a minute when I go get some more coffee. Yeah. I'm fine. Looking for lunch after this? <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, Cliff Ford drops. Um, <clears throat> I think the quantity of drops that I like are. One second. <coughs> uh, Ninth Rule has great drops. Search and Rescue has great drops. Is there anything else that's got good drops that you can think of? Ninth Rule and the Rescue and Search are the. Um, the two biggies. Of course, trouble over tear. Trouble, oh yeah. So there's three that, again, those are things we've talked about. If you've got a tune that's really low level, you do your power leveling by having a big guy go with you, big brother go with you. You do a little pew pew, they do all the pew 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 pew, and there will be a ton of drops, and then the little one gets to pick it up, and therefore funds yeah. their stuff for a couple of times through. So you get your leveling, you get your experience, and you get drops. Yay! Yep. And Bigo gets the lithium. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, and my cough is uh, from drinking too much milk in my coffee. But I like milk in my coffee. I am not sick. And yes, Ricola is lovely stuff. Well, I should go to work so I can uh, afford everything for a holiday since I spent yeah. a fair amount of money and now i got to pay it back. So anyway, guys, I will be dropping information about the upcoming uh, diversity and inclusivity convention in Philadelphia that is being hosted by the lovely people over at Gaze in Space, including Sean and our dear friend Nick. So I will send more info. That's in May, but if you're going to be in, around in Philadelphia, it's a reasonably priced convention. 
Go figure. And I found out I've got enough frequent flyer points to pay for the hotel, so I don't have to pay for that. Yay! And I'm going to drive out since we'll have equipment. Yay! Oh, Cliff, there's still ways to get a million EC. Fast. My problem is I keep spending it. All right, everyone. Ed's going to say goodbye to you all. And I'm going to go get more coffee. Yeah. Oh, uh, so, everybody, um, enjoy the Wednesday. It's just new days until Christmas. Good time to stay awesome. <laughs>